To access the Option Charts and Option Chains in TC2000, right-click on any chart and in the menu choose Option Chain. This opens an option chain for the particular stock that you're looking at, in this case, Apple. If I click on one of the options in the chain, two things happen. One is I get the price history chart of that specific option, and the other is I get the strike price of that option on the underlying chart itself. So as I space bar through the option chain, you'll see both the option chart and the strike price on the underlying chart for each option that we select in the watch list. I could change the time frame. Here's a 15 minute chart and the same thing happens. You'll see the price history for the option in the secondary window and the strike price for that option on the underlying chart. Now in the option chain itself you have a number of choices you can make. Click on the drop down and you can choose to show all expirations all the expirations without weeklies or any specific expiration date that you're looking for in the list. Right now we have it set to show all expirations for the next 100 days. With the spinner I could decrease or increase the number of days till expiration. Next to that we have the strikes and with the spinner it's very quick to reduce the number of strikes for each expiration date or to increase the number of strikes for each expiration date. You can also choose simply to look at the calls or just to look at the puts or look at both calls and puts in the same window. The columns that are in the option chain are sortable columns. Simply click on a header as we'll do here with Delta and you rank all of the options in the list by their delta from the highest deltas down. Do the same thing with the open interest. Sort by open interest, finding the options at the top of your list that have the most contracts currently out on them. You can also add your own columns that you're interested in, customizing this option chain window to whatever information is important to you. To do that, click the plus sign, which is the add column button, and choose add value column. There's actually a section in the menu for options and you could choose any of the options information that you want to add. Let's add the option gamma and you can see that it's added a column with the gamma value for each of the options in our watch list. Now let's reduce the number of days here for a moment and let's look at the options for a list of stocks, not just an individual stock. Right now we're looking at Apple. Let's change that and look at the NASDAQ 100. I'm going to click on the ticker symbol and I'm going to change the radio button to watch list. So we're going to look at the options for an entire watch list. Click on the name of the watch list and we're going to choose the NASDAQ 100. Now when I click OK, we're going to generate a list of options up to 10,000 in one window for the next 53 days, six strikes, calls and puts for the NASDAQ 100. And there are 6,876 options in the window. Be sure to check out the other video in this channel on scanning stocks and options at the same time to see how you can further use the option chain window.